before we continue with our uh, video let's correct something in the animation blueprint we made last video uh, here in the tick or the update animation we set the equipped weapon uh, this is bad practice and also bad for performance so we need to we do not need this set weapon because we already have the equipped weapon through the player blueprint so let's delete this set weapon and also delete this on this get equipped weapon and attach it here and here and here and this will solve our problem thank you let's continue with our video hello and welcome to another Unreal Engine 5 video in this video we will make the shooting mechanics for our uh, game so to start with we need uh, first to make a new actor here in the blueprints let's make a new folder call it projectile projectile and open it and add a new blueprint class which will be of actor class call it bp underscore projectile now let's open our projectile actor here First, we need a, a static mesh. Static mesh and make it the root component. And here, I will, you, uh, I will start with. Uh, we already have some assets here in the FPS open bundle go to weapons meshes and ammunition I will use this one the 762 shell and we need to rotate it make it face the x-axis sorry ok uh, let's add our collision component sphere collision the sphere collision let's make it the uh, root component and here we can rotate our uh, projectile we need it 90 degrees we need to face the x-axis and for the sphere this decrease its uh, size make it 10 I think it's enough 10 also uh, we need to add a Niagara particle system uh, for the uh, the uh, visual uh, effects I will use these effects I converted them from an old uh, free asset which is the realistic asset volume 2 but it was uh, old in the cascade system and I converted these FX these effects uh, from that uh, from that uh, asset pack so I will include the a link for these uh, converted uh, visual effects and now we need the tracer here we selected the assault tracer put it here and maybe let's scale it down to half I think this is better and let me decrease the size of the sphere make it 5 
and because our sphere is this small let me um, we need to enable the CCD which is stands for continuous collision detection also we need to make sure uh, hit simulation generate set event we need to make sure that we make this true also for the collision let's go to the collision we need to make it block all we do not need to generate overlap events you can leave it uh, checked okay now that we have the visual effects of the pro projectile let's go uh, uh, let's make a uh, a data, data table for the projectile so that we can make uh, other projectiles for other weapons and they have they have their specific properties so let's make a new folder call it projectile data projectile data open it we need on the three things like previously we need an enum and a structure and a data table so the structure will get here from the blueprint blueprint structure what st underscore uh, projectile data and let's open it uh, what we need is we need to specify the uh, like here like we specified here the fx the tracer effects and the static mesh and the size of the sphere so and also then we will add the impact effects that we want to spawn when the projectile hits an uh, object so here the mesh we need static mesh asset static mesh object reference also new variable we need a it's called tracer fx we need uh, niagara Uh, system Niagara system let's check uh, Niagara system component okay this one uh, also we need a float let's call it uh, collision size Uh, now let's uh, set this uh, this uh, sorry uh, we need to make the enum we need also blueprint enumeration but en projectile tags let's open it now we need two projectile one for the AK AK-47 bullet and here AR-4 bullet and let's add uh, our data table here we choose the projectile data DT projectile 
data. This method I am using uh, the data tables will make uh, things organized. It's uh, if you didn't use these uh, assets before, you will have some difficulties. But when you get used to them, they make your life easier when you make a big game or a big project. So here first, let's uh, copy this AK bullet. Rename this row AK bullet. And let's go PZAR now. Add a new one. Also rename it. And we need the exact uh, name from the enum so that this will work. I think we need to change the here Niagara particle to system. Agara system now we have the system here appearing so for the mesh uh, I will use the now for the AK AK 47 sorry they called KA I think yes KA 47 uh, let's look for the bullet so 762 I think they call it 762 okay this is the shell 762 shell here 556 five, shell for the tracer I will use uh, the same sorry I closed let me here go to the Niagara and browse to the assault. Sorry. Let's go and open our projectile tracer. Also here tracer the same one because I, I don't have more uh, effects for the collision size let's see our collision that we made uh, sphere size 5 so here 5 also for the AR or the AK also 5 now let's go to the projectile to the construction script here get row get data table row and we done this before so I think I hope it is now easier we pick our uh, data, data table also we need an enum here uh, it's projectile type en projectile types let's call it type projectile type uh, for this I want it to be exposed on spawn so that when we spawn the bullet it should be instant disable so that when, when we spawn the bullet uh, we change it according to the uh, weapon that we have so we need to add this projectile tab also and the uh, structure for the weapon data and change it to string you know to string then connect it here now we need to uh, promote it to a variable call it Uh, projectile data and here we need to set the static mesh and the Niagara system 
set static mesh here break the projectile here we put the mesh and here for the Niagara set Niagara system asset the tracer now let's see okay let me change to AR not smaller okay now uh, sorry let me go back to the projectile and here also we need to set the size for the collision sphere set size sorry what is called sphere radius sphere radius and let's get the collagen size Now we have our basic uh, projectile now let's go like I said to the structure for the weapon and uh, we need to add the uh, projectile type here projectile type change it to en projectile type I'll close this here in the data table for the weapon type for the AK let's choose the AK bullet and for the AR let's choose the AR bullet now uh, let's go to our character I need to compile again uh, let's go to our character sorry let's I will delete this because I use to I was experimenting here let's make let me move this away let me delete this I do not need it now let's make the shooting mechanic for our game first we need a uh, function for spawn projectile here we spawn actor from class the class is the projectile and the transform okay, change this to always spawn transform we will get from the equipped weapon get weapon data break let's look for the muzzle socket and here let's get mesh open mesh get the skeletal mesh let me move this away and here get uh, socket transform let me attach this here now we have our projectile spawning also I need to connect the projectile type sorry here for the owner uh, self which means it's a reference to the 
player that fired the bullet and also let's go back to our projectile we forgot the projectile movement projectile movement component here in the projectile movement we need first to set the initial speed I'll set to 5000 and the max speed mm, slightly slower because the projectile loses uh, velocity over uh, the, the distance and we need to take this the rotation follows velocity and the gravity scale let's make it maybe 0.25 percent and the other we do not need so now we need two more uh, parameters to set here set initial speed and set max speed also the gravity scale we will set it set gravity scale now let's add this in the uh, structure projectile structure projectile data structure so we need three floats one for the initial speed initial speed one for the max speed and the last one for the gravity scale let's go back to our projectile here and let's get the projectile data break here for the initial speed connected here to the speed and the max speed here and the gravity scale scale here now that we have our modular uh, projectile let me just simulate let's uh, set the data table for the projectile data here initial speed for the AK maybe 5000 and the max speed 4000 the gravity scale 0.25 and here for the AR it will be faster 2500 and 5000 or 6500 and for gravity scale the same now let's test here okay now let's go back to our player here here we spawned the projectile and let me just here add a uh, on hit add event on component hit I wanted to um, print string let's call it hit let's say uh, make it say hit and then we will destroy our projectile now let's go back to our player like i said uh, here uh, we need to make a custom event uh, for uh, shooting the, uh, the projectile and we also need to add in the weapon uh, types or the weapon data 
need to add another check which is is automatic is automatic so I need to check if the open is automatic or single shooting open and uh, uh, here I will, I will not use the uh, boolean from the structure because later on in the game maybe we want to add a button that change the weapon from automatic to single fire so let me go to the weapon weapon project uh, open blueprint and here on begin the play I will make a new boolean call it is auto and let me set it here on begin the play and I will get the value the initial value from the structure but then we can change it later if we want to add a function of changing the weapon from uh, single fire to automatic we close these I do not need them now let's go back to our BP player here make a custom event let's call auto automatic fire here let's look for set timer by function name and here in the function name we will put the spawn projectile I think we also want to add here uh, I think we added the rate of fire before let me check this is the rate of fire let's get the equipped weapon and get weapon data break right of fire here let me check if we set the rate of fire right here okay we set it before uh, now in the uh, spawn projectile function we need to spawn the bullet effects uh, the muzzle flash and also the sound so Uh, play sound at location the location will be the socket or not the socket uh, but uh, let's make the socket to be more accurate the location from the socket the rotation also, also from the socket Uh, for the attenuation, attenuation settings uh, there is already made in the uh, already made in the open FX uh, well, I will choose open shooting with the attenuation setting the attenuation settings uh, the uh, for the owning let's get self don't forget for the attenuation settings uh, will make the game more realistic so uh, when uh, you hear uh, shooting from far away you will, the shooting will be muffled and and uh, will over uh, over distance it will lose the volume and gradually disappear but if you if it is without uh, the attenuation you will hear the shooting from anywhere in the game even if you are very far away from the uh, shooting uh, actor and here for the sound 
we need to add uh, the sound first I will add shooting sound rifle rifle fire we check okay. we use this and also for the uh, Niagara system spawn system system attached I want it to be attached to the socket here we also get the location and the rotation of the socket sorry and let's get the attach point it is the muzzle socket sorry here and also the component it is the skeletal mesh of the weapon and here location type keep world position and for the uh, Uh, system which is the assault rifle muzzle flash and let's go back to our uh, event graph uh, here in the event graph let's just uh, comment on this uh, open auto fire now let's uh, add an input also let's say let's duplicate this jump call it fire let's go to the context and add a mapping here let's choose uh, the fire the left mouse button left mouse button also here add two triggers for the pressed and released because we need them for the automatic fire close this one leave this one okay uh, here we just make room and put action fire here uh, just let me hear uh, let me tell you about this uh, set timer by function name uh, so when we uh, activate this uh, by here by uh, calling the automatic fire automatic automatic fire event this this uh, timer will uh, fire according to the time that we set we set 0.15 percent of a second so it will fire nearly six to eight times per second uh, and it will continue firing unless we um, clear the timer or stop the timer and it will fire this uh, this function when it is activated and how to do we stop this timer first we need to promote this here the timer handle to a variable call it shooting shooting timer and like I said here on the completed we get this timer and 
look for clear and invalidate timer by handle so this will stop the timer also here let me add a check the check that we added before get the equip to open get weapon data break here I need the is automatic branch it is automatic we choose the automatic fire event if it is not automatic you will spawn the projectile once now let me let's try let's test and see if we didn't mess anything up now you see are shooting single fire now let's change the open data here to automatic I will leave the AK automatic and the AR for uh, single fire if we continue pressing you see it's shooting everywhere because we are following the circuit but uh, next I will change this and I will fix it to make uh, the uh, open fire uh, follow the camera and make it uh, not to follow ca the camera I mean uh, make the weapon fire or the projectile go towards the crosshair that we will, we will make the future so I will let's take the AR single shooting now uh, one thing left let me add it before I finish the video uh, for the projectile projectile data let me go back we have the save here uh, let me add the shooting uh, for the sh shooting and the uh, muzzle effects uh, sorry we need to edit in the open data I am mistaken so here we need to add two variables one for the sound Q let's look for Q sound the Q call it shooting sound and also other we need Niagara FX Niagara system also object reference call it muzzle flash or muzzle FX now let's go to the data table here shooting for the AK shooting or fire I think rifle fire ok choose it here and for the muzzle I will choose the assault rifle for the AR let's uh, maybe okay leave it as the rifle also here assault now let's go back to the player open the 
projectile uh, spawn projectile and the shooting sound connected here to the sound and the muzzle fx connected here to the muzzle effects now uh, I think uh, we are finished now I think uh, the video is becoming long and uh, we are finished for today so like and subscribe if you like my content and thank you I will see you on the next video